nation of Israel, we had no dealings. Like the lady just, like the woman in Samaria, she understood this history. Last one, Zechariah 11 and 14. Just showing you, what did she mean when she said, You knowest thou being a Jew, have no dealings with me being of what? Of Samaria or of the northern kingdom. Showing you, what did she mean when she said, You knowest thou being a Jew, have no dealings with me being of what? Of Samaria or of the northern kingdom. The book of Zechariah, chapter 11, verse 14. Uh -huh. Then I cut asunder mine own staff, uh -huh. my other staff, Read. even bands, even, that what? I, even bands, Read. that I might break the brotherhood uh -huh. between Judah and Israel. That I might break the brotherhood between who? Between Judah and Israel. And this woman of Samaria, she understood that to the T. Now, let's go back to John chapter 4. We're going to pick up at verse 10. She said, how being thou a Jew have dealings with me? So, so far, this is not a Gentile. Mm. We're showing you the history and we're showing you this woman had to have been what? An Israelite. She was not of the other nations. All right. Samaria were Israelites. They were Israelites. If you never read the Bible, you don't know that. Mm. You don't know that. But in verse 10. The book of St. John, chapter 4, verse 10. Uh -huh. Jesus answered and said unto her. If thou knewest the gift of God, and who it is that saith to thee, mm -hmm. Give me to drink, uh -huh. thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living water. Now, we're not going to go too deep into this, but all he's saying, he was offering her what? Salvation. Now, when you jump down to verse 22, what do you say? Salvation is of the Jews. We're not going to read it, but he said that. So she had to have been in the lineage of the Israelites to, for him to give her that statement right because we get another example in matthew 15 he didn't he didn't offer her the the, the waters of uh right. the everlasting waters he didn't do that so from there jump down to verse um 12 verse 12 verse 12 art thou greater than our the father what? jacob art thou greater than our father jacob Read. which gave us the well and drank thereof himself and his children and his cattle. Now, you better listen. She said, art thou greater than what? Our father, Jacob. Mm -hmm. Showing you what? She was of the line of Israel. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some of you Israelites, uh, some of you Christian scholars, that have a little understanding of the Bible. You say, well, what happened was, they were taken out of the land, and the people were moved in the land, mm -hmm. and they knew what was going on. Mm -hmm. So let's show you that history, and I'm going to show you. No, this, this woman right here, she was of the line of Israel. Let's go. Go back to John 4 and verse 22, and it's going to be the last scripture. Showing you, the woman at Samaria was an Israelite. Read that. The book of St. John, chapter 4, verse 22. Uh-huh. Ye worship, ye know not what. You what? Ye worship, ye know not what. Read. We know what we worship. Uh-huh. For salvation is of the Jews. For what? For salvation is of the Jews. So he understood that salvation was coming to those of the nation of Israel. If it wasn't, he would not have wasted that much time edifying and teaching his sister. Remember, Christ is the same man that said, cast not your pearls before swine. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Racha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles. And the elder bishops of Great Millstone honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this faith, and shalom to the elect. So anyway, we're going to go back. Um, each time we try to go into these particular videos, and we know sometimes they can be repetitive, but we'll go in and we'll we'll add something new to it and learn something more as we um, follow down the path of truth, right? So um, this group IUIC they can't see it like some other Israelite groups and they actually have it switched, you know? So we teach the total opposite on that. The woman at the well being a heathen, they teach as an Israelite, the woman that was called a dog, they say is a heathen, but was actually Israelite. So they don't have the mystery And this. And they, a lot of times, uh, IUIC pulled some of the same scriptures that they, I'm sure they've learned in old one West, but, the uh, the outcome of it still is different. So just for the sake of the video, uh, I'm going to go back into it because this group IUIC does this, right? So we're going to go to um, John 4. We're going to start John 4 and 1. I don't think I'm going to, I'm not going to do the whole breakdown, so I'm going to try to make it quick. 
<clears throat> but we're going to just hit some points. John 4. Um, yeah. Let me go to one. When therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Yahweh had made uh, and baptized more disciples than John, right? Though Yahweh himself baptized not but his disciples, he left Judea, right, and departed again into Galilee. And he must uh, needs go through Samaria. Um, then cometh he to the city of Samaria, which he called Sychar. I uh, hope I'm pronouncing it right. Near to the parcel ground that Jacob gave uh, to his son Joseph. Now Jacob's well was uh, was there. Yahweh therefore being wearied with the journey sat thus on the well and it was about the six hours. So you go to the history, you know, they hated Yahweh for the fame and the things he's done. So, you know, he always kept it moving, right? It says, There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Yahweh said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to buy meat. Then saith the woman of Samaria unto him, how is it that thou being a Jew asked, um, asked drink of me, which am a woman of Samaria? So it can be, we're going to get to it because, you know, a part of it is this woman believed she was an Israelite or she followed the traditions of an Israelite. But she says right here, how is it thou being a Jew asked of me? which am a woman of Samaria. Well, because of the, the conflict for the Jews having no dealings with the Samari the Samaritans. Now, this is why in Matthew 10 and 5, he said, go not into the way of the Gentile. But we're going to get to the point. I, I can't read all this. Um, but verse 11, the woman said unto him, sir, thou has nothing to draw. Let me go to 10 so we can get to the point. Yahweh answered and said unto her, If thou knewest the gift of Yahweh, of God, right, and who it is that saveth, saith to thee, give me drink, thou wouldst have asked him, and he would have given thee living water. Now, she's thinking something totally different, but watch what she says. She doesn't understand what's going on here, right? The woman said to him, Sir, thou hast nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Uh, from whence uh, then thou hast that um, has thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob? I had a couple of comments. A couple of comments that uh, when I did a video like this previously, or and I mentioned it, then uh, I think different groups, and I know maybe IUIC, they said this proves that this woman was an Israelite, right? Well, watch. It says which gave us the well. And drank therefore thereof himself and his children and his cattle. So we're gonna go over here to a little commentator, commentary, right? Um, this is John four and twelve, the Barnes and Nobles. It says, Our father Jacob, the Samaritan the Samaritans were composed partly of the remnant of the ten tribes, right? Partly, which you go, you know, you had a situation with Ephraim, the northern tribe. Um, um, partly of people sent from Chaldea, still they considered themselves descendants of Jacob. So you had um, this woman who still considered herself as an Israelite because where this land was the land of the Israelites. You know, when we go to Second Kings uh, seventeen, let's go to twenty-one. It says, uh, maybe I can go to 20, uh, 19. Also, Judea kept not my commandments of the Lord, their God, but walked in the statue of Israel, which they had made. When you look at Israel and where the Samaria is, it's uh, Galilee. It's all in the area, right? So it says, and the Lord rejected all the seed of Israel and afflicted them and delivered them to the hand of the spoilers until he had came, uh, cast them out this, of his sight. Um, for he rent Israel from the house of David, right? And they made Jeroboam, the son of Nebat king. 
uh, uh, Jeroboam drove uh, Israel from following the Lord and made them sin great. Let me get to the point. Verse 24, And the king of Assyria brought men from Babylon and from Kuta and from Ava, Ava and from Hanath and from Sepharvim and placed them in the cities of Samaria instead of the children of Israel and they possessed Samaria and dwelt in the cities thereof. Like when you go to the day, when you look at uh, the um, nations that even this man, uh, Edom, right? He went and conquered nations and he became and followed some of the customs or became, uh, um, called themselves even after those, those nations, right? Like the Ethiopians, they consider themselves uh, Jews, right? Some of them are, but they, for the most part, they're not. But that mindset was still carried on. This is what happens when nations are conquered and lifted up, but we're going to get proof. You know, just like when you look at um, um, Django, when you watch that movie or any slave movie, and um, um, when you watch any slave movie, what will happen when a house burned down? They say, our house burned down, uh, master. Our house burned down because they start conforming to them and being a part of them. I'm not going to waste too much time on that. I just wanted to get to the point on that. So now we're going to go down to verse 22. It says, verse 22, Ye worship, ye know not what we know, what we worship. See, the key there is we know what we worship, right? Um, for salvation is of the Jews. So, you know, yeah, the Messiah knew this. This woman was considering herself, right? Remember in Ezra's, I think it was Ezra's, uh, what, is, uh, what was it, Cyrus, when they, uh, um, what was his name? They gave us um, license to build the temple, right? Uh, when we came out of Babylon, um, I can't remember who that was. Um, I can't remember who that was, but um, when we started building the temple, uh, Zerubbabel, I believe, and he said, you know, you have nothing to do with us building the house to our Lord, right? Same thing. Yahweh is really getting in on her right here. He said, ye worship, ye know not what we know, what we worship. So he's, separating that and said you're not a Jew <laughs> for salvation is of the Jews but the hour of cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the father in the spirit and truth the father seeketh um, the father seeketh such to worship him right so we're going to get down to the nitty gritty and prove and show you why this woman is not an Israelite um, let's go to verse, um, it's a lot to read, so I don't want to cut out, um, I don't want to get to the point, because the, basically the woman went back to Samaria, right? Um, let me go up here. The woman then left the water pot and went her way into the city and said to the men, come see a man which told me all things that I ever did. Is this not the Christ? Right? So, this woman, what, what the IUIC don't understand is there's a reason why he dealt with this woman. Right? I mean, it was simple. He went, they, she went back and told the other men who would have been Israelites. See, it's confusing because Samaritans can be of a heathen and the Samaritans can be of Israelites. Right? So, you'll have Christians will say, See, this is a heathen woman. They'll say what we say is a heathen woman. But she went back and told other heathens, and they all believed. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's the way it goes, the way they say. Now, all the things that she done, what did she do? He said, you have five husbands. But we're going to make one point that just clears all this up. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for saying uh, of the woman, which testify, he told me all things that I ever did. Now, when you look at Samaritan, the Samaritans, you could have looked at that as a, as Israelites, but they were 
the Lord drove them out and put heathens there, right? So when the Samaritans come, uh, were come unto him, they besought him, and they were tired with him and abode with him two days. And many more believed because of his own word, and said unto the woman, Now we believe, not because of thy saying, which proves women, you know, not uh, uh, meant to testify. For we have heard him, us, him ourselves, because in here it says she test, gave a testimony. It says here, and many of the Samaritans believed on him for the saying of the woman which testified, which that's not true. This also proves for, uh, further. For we, we, uh, for we have heard him ourselves, and now that indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. Now, I'm just going to stop there. Now, what should come to mind when Yahweh ever approached an Israelite that was lame, or sick, right? And uh, even Paul, right? What did they do? What was the main thing they did? We're going to get that real quick. Bear with me. We're going to get that real quick. You know, and the thing about this is I haven't heard any other, anybody else ever to refute this, um, this, these particular scriptures when it comes to this woman at the well. John 5 and 14, afterward, Yahweh Shah, this is going into the pool of the uh, Yahweh Shah heals at the pool of Bethesda when the angels would come and they would jump in the water and get healed and uh, there was nobody to lift them up. Really, this was Yahweh Shah was also making mockery on the Pharisees because they was they was all about the law and the certain things you did with the law. But then he always went and said, well, why would you help your own brother out? This is why this group is always talking about the law. And it's bigger than that because you had these Israelites keeping the law, right, so to speak, but the love of their brother wasn't there, right? That's Matthew 23, you know. But it goes on to say, um, after what Jesus, Yahweh, found of him in the temple, the man he healed, and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come unto thee, right? We could also see this, the, the woman of Samaria, the, 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 the Seraphonician, the Canaanite woman in Matthew 15, right? When he healed the daughter, that's another video, but he healed him. But this woman, right? Think about it. This woman had five husbands. Why didn't the Lord in this text say go and sin no more? Why didn't he say that? Remember in John, the ninth chapter, the blind man? Same thing. I believe... Um, the scriptures in John 8, let me get that. The adulterous woman. It says, uh, And the scribes and the Pharisees brought unto him a woman taken in adultery. And when they had set her in the midst, they say unto him, Master, this woman was taken into adultery in their very act. Now Moses in the law commandment commanded us that such should be stoned, but, uh, but which sayest thou now this is beautiful because if the law was still uh, uh, pushed that way and was still that way we all be guilty of death some way or somehow this life or the last life we would never come out of it this is why um, the importance is the Messiah not so much as the law although the law is very important but the importance is Messiah this is why he sent his son these groups don't teach that. They think all you got to do is follow the commandments. Yeah, you better have faith in the Messiah because you could be following the commandments and still going off. And you you can't do everything. You can't keep all the laws. I'm still wondering when they're going to wear the Teflims and the, the phylacteries and all that, but that's another video. Um, I just want to get to the point. Um, they I think they tried to stone her. Then when Jesus, Yahweh Shai, lifted up, he took his finger and wrote on the ground, when Yahweh Shai had lifted him lift up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are thou uh, those thy accusers? Have no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. Yahweh Shai said unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. Now, clearly in John 4, right, this woman was an adulterer. And he never told her not to sin, to go no, go sin no more. 
Clearly everybody else he did. So you you guys got to answer that. That's all I have on that shuttle one.